Yes, guys, here goes little Cam. He's at court. He's in jail. Here is he in his jail clothing. And he alone have four lawyers. This little boy, this little hit man, he's so connected. Four lawyers he has representing him. Mm -hmm. Just take a good look. That's little Cam. Little Cam in front of the court. Let me see if I can let you hear a little bit of stuff that's going on. <laughs> That's him right there, yo. Okay, so the full sentence of the judge is based on uh, the incident that occurred on November 1st of this year. The officer in that case was uh, investigating the homicide uh, that occurred down at uh, the 1200 block of San Jacinto. He obtained video surveillance from different vantage points around the location of the incident. And the video uh, surveillance that was, that was captured uh, during the night of the event it was obtained by law enforcement, including the takes care of Joshua's face, uh, as one of the individuals that was present at the scene. Uh, the witness who's included in the location where the incident occurred. Who wishes to remain anonymous for the purposes of the affidavit for reasons of her safety was interviewed. She confirmed that uh, she encountered an individual holding a firearm that was trying to whack the gun during the incident, showing his punching firearm. Uh, she identified that person from the surveillance video by clothing and physical characteristics. This was determined as the same person as this defendant, Ken Joshua. Officers discovered that Mr. Joshua was convicted of the felony offense of grand theft in California. On October 27, 2022, making him a convicted felon for the purposes of the carrying a weapon statute. A pocket warrant was obtained for his arrest. The next incident occurred during that arrest, which occurred on the 22nd of November. He was found to exit an apartment off of Verona. He entered a Cadillac vehicle. He was then pulled over for purposes of arresting him on the felony pocket warrant. He was taken into custody in a so we have a camera who's found underneath the driver's seat where he'd been sitting. He was also on the bond out of this court judge. The only offense of tampering which was filed in November of 2021. And it looks like... He was indicted on December 13th of last year. December of what? 13th. Mm -hmm. He has a burglary motor vehicle case, Judith, that he was convicted of on March 8th of this year that occurred back in 2020 in September. He also has an ECW dismissed, looks like based on the same plea agreement and misdemeanor PCS case that was also dismissed, looks like on the same plea agreement. <laughs> Uh, Your Honor, obviously, uh, we're here to request bond on the two new cases. Uh, we would submit that uh, at the time that these offenses are alleged to have been committed, Mr. Joshua, Mr. Joshua was on bond for possessing a fake ID. Uh, the circumstances of these cases, Judge, I want to make clear, she's not uh, suspected of being a shooter. Uh, in either case, uh, and this is in either case, for these, yes, Judge, there are the two who are carrying the weapon cases, right? But in those cases, he's not suspected of being sure in case uh, these these are allegations that he possessed a firearm. Right? Okay. I guess I misunderstood you. I made it sound like it was the original two murders, just a simple case. No, ma'am. I know he's right right in, in 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 each of those cases we're dealing strictly with the issue of possessing the weapon you know, not actually you know using it in that's right George. um obviously we would request a hearing for, for no longer based on the circumstance situation we just spoke with mr downey about having such a hearing and we also had a conversation about and we've been in communication with california we believe it's likely that they will file a motion 
information from the Board of Probation and then we'll take a hold on the queue. Um, so we'll talk to Mr. Danny about possibly setting a hearing off next week um, to see whether or not we can confirm with him, number one, whether he's going to have a hold, and then we can proceed with the hearing at the next time. Yeah, I think the best part of it is that I have to do Yes, guys, this is Lil Cam. He's in front of the judge in court. Lil Cam, Lil Cam, Lil Cam, Lil Cam. Lil Cam, the alleged, the alleged shooter of takeoff. 